What's up everybody? Welcome to Hammerdown Motorsports and yes, it is a true story and I had to share it with you guys. Today I went to start the Rebel, just kind of move it back a little bit so I can access the front door panel so we can get the lighting and everything put in there. And much to my dismay, key fob in hand, it says key fob not detected. So I'm thinking to myself, well, I kind of had this issue once before. I think this is my phone was in my pocket, didn't detect the key fob and it didn't work. So I'm like, okay, well, let's try a few different things. I disconnected the battery, which I never like to do on these things because as you guys know, it takes a little bit of time before everything comes back, like your heated seats and your backup camera and all those good things, but that did not work. I did it a couple of times, left it sit for about 20 minutes with the, with it disconnected, hoping that it would clear itself out. And when I go to start the truck, it did the exact same thing. Key fob worked, I could unlock it, lock it, do the panic button, it did the command start, fired up, no problem. Nothing really a problem there. But as you guys know, I did have the console out and I've disconnected a few things in the interior as far as the door panels go to do the interior lighting. And as much as I really hate disconnecting the battery on this truck, I did not disconnect the battery. So I thought, okay, I don't know if I did something that caused an issue and figuring by disconnecting the battery that might clear it out. I put the console back in, just kind of in place, plugged it back in, thinking that maybe there's a sensor or something in that, that it wasn't picking up the key fob and that did not change anything. So at this point, I'm starting to freak out a little bit Brand new truck, not even 5,000 miles. It'll start on the command start, but it will not start with the key fob and I can't move it. I can't do anything with it. You can't get it out of park. Yeah, not exactly a situation I wanted to deal with today. I just wanted to get my wiring done, put my door panels back together. So this is what happened. There's a little picture on the display and it says push with key fob, push start button with key fob, something like that. And at first I was kind of like, what? Push button on the remote and then hit the start button. It's kind of what I thought, but I just kind of had to think for a minute and, and read a little bit more closely. They actually want you to push the start button with your key fob, not your finger, the key fob itself. And I'm thinking to myself, that's kind of weird, but at this point I'm willing to try anything. So after I already grabbed my other key fob, I had both key fobs in the truck, that still didn't change anything. And I'm kind of like, I'm at my last resort here. I took the actual key fob, pushed the start button, and boom, there it goes. Everything's back to normal, starts up. As you can see, I have it moved back already, but I think it is not because I disconnected a bunch of stuff on here. I think it's because it sat for so long and the key fob was in the truck sometimes, sometimes it was out of the truck. I don't know if that any, had anything to do with it, but that is kind of the case. That is what I dealt with on this truck. If you leave your truck parked for an extended period of time, being like we're on quarantine and all that kind of stuff. So the truck's been sitting, I've been tearing it apart, haven't moved it. It, maybe it goes into like a security mode or a limp mode or something like that with the technology and the key fob or something like that, that if it detected it for too long, then it disconnects and you have to actually take the key fob and push the start button with the key fob. So if you're freaking out, your truck won't start. It's probably why you're watching this video or you just wanna be a little bit more educated about your DT Ram 2019 and up. That is another one of the quirks about this truck. So I've dealt with it, it's fixed. We're all happy now, so now you know. So we'll hop in the truck here. You can see the console is still kind of in a mess here. I've got this door panel off, speakers out. That door panel is still connected. Well, the, the switch for the window is out, but everything else is still connected. I couldn't open the door far enough to get the clips disconnected, hence why I wanted to move the truck. I have both key fobs in the console. Push the brake, no key fob. Okay, it's doing it to me again. Why are you doing this to me? Pushed it with a key fob and it worked. So that makes me wonder, why is it doing that? That is very odd. Shut it off. See if we can restart it. No key fob. Okay, I guess there's still something that either needs to be recalibrated or something that I'm not seeing here. But yeah, as you can see, we have everything is right where it should be. Key fob is right here. If I push it with my hand, no key fob. Push it with the key fob. It starts. So I guess we're not fixed. I guess there's something that either needs to relearn or you have to go for a drive or something like that with the key fob in the vehicle. 
or once we get this all put back together we'll take it to the dealer maybe they have to recalibrate or something like that but that's an issue i ran into but at least we can get the truck started and we'll go from there so as far as our lights go i do not have the bluetooth connected so it's not anything to do with interference with that little module that i have in the back of the console so there's really no reason why it shouldn't work other than maybe it needs to do a relearn like i was saying if we just need to take it for a drive and then things will go back to normal which is kind of what i've realized with this truck sometimes if you disconnect things things need to relearn and then things go back to normal so let's hope that's the case but i will keep you guys updated but if you do have the no key fob detected like we said before you just take the key fob itself push the start button and you can be on your way without having to be stranded call a tow truck any of that kind of horrors that you definitely don't want to deal with with your brand new truck so just a little bit of information for you guys out there who own these trucks if you do run into this this is kind of a, a quick and easy fix i guess if you don't understand what's going on like i did and this is kind of how i sort of figured it out for now and i will Get, definitely have to see how this goes in the future once we get everything put back together and go for a drive hopefully it goes back to its normal operation but with that being said i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to give it a big thumbs up if you're new to the channel hit that subscribe button and as always keep that hammer down